Hi class, <clears throat> welcome to your final for my computer core class, spring semester 2012. I am going to demo a couple things using this student's portfolio. This is an outdated portfolio from one of my students a couple years ago. Um, I'm basically going to show you on here how I want yours to finish. It's not going to look perfect by any means. I want yours to look better. Um, I just want to give you the ideas behind what we're doing. Okay. First thing, you should have a calendar where I'm waving my mouse. Okay, you should have a self-portrait activity in this region where I'm waving my mouse. On the left-hand side, you should have your schedule like so. Okay, I'm going to ask that you go through and you're going to I want you to add something from every class you've taken this school year. So if I click on this page, see how it's blank? I want you to add something, whether it be text, a picture, some kind of an online picture that represents what you've done, write a course description, write your grade, write what you did in class, okay? What you learned, what you liked about the class, etc., or what you were supposed to do. Some kind of content needs to be for every class as a freshman, okay? Um, if you have access to student work, you might want to upload that, okay? You have access to things you did in class, that should be uploaded to this page. Okay, so you should have your schedule here. Notice you only have this spring schedule. Okay, so we're going to have to create what's called an archive system. Okay, an archive system. To do that, we are going to click on Edit Sidebar. Okay, when this loads, you're going to add a sidebar item. So click here. You're going to add a navigation and that's the last navigation now. You can edit it. You want to title it Archives. And you're going to hit OK. Hit Save. Go back to your portfolio. and you should see an archive section at the bottom okay so what you're going to do is you're going to now create some new pages the create new page button is listed right here on the right hand side you click create new page you're going to name your page okay block one you're going to hit create. What you are doing now is you are creating web pages for your classes for the, for the fall 2012 school year. You hit save. Now you can go to more page settings. You get rid of the allow comments, allow attachments. Show link, get rid of those three buttons and then throw this one in your schedule on your navigation. You hit save and you're going to see a new page appear here, over here on the left for block one. You're going to do the same thing four times for four new classes for next fall when you are a sophomore. You don't know what these are yet so you're just going to title them block two, create, save, page settings, okay, and then repeat the process. So I did that twice. You are going to do that four times total. One for block one, one for block two, one for block three, and one for block four. Once this is done, okay, you can archive the classes from this school year. So I'm going to click on Edit Sidebar.
you click on edit and you're going to add a page to your archives by finding them so your freshman year you're going to go in here and find the classes that you took okay save return back here and you're going to see that in your archives is a list of the former classes that you've had okay I would also like you to once you do that you can remove them from your schedule so hit edit sidebar you're gonna edit your schedule which I believe is your third navigation Oop, no nope, that's your portfolio so your second navigation is your schedule you can click on the old um, schedule click on this hit the X for delete 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 now you're not deleting your pages you're just deleting them from your page for the sidebar Sorry, that was an interruption. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I removed my schedule from this term. Notice I only have two here. You're going to have four. Remember, I stopped short of creating those pages. Hit OK. Hit Save. Okay. By the time this is all said and done, I want your sidebar to look um, like it's ready for your sophomore year of high school. So I go back to my page. I now see that my schedule says block one, block two. Okay, it'll say block three and four, and I have my archives here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to create another page here for freshman year. Oops. New page. Okay, I want you to add something on this page describing okay, what you did as a freshman in high school. Okay, use whatever pictures you can find, whatever content you want to include on this page is up to you. But I would like you to have some kind of description of what you did freshman year. You can list your classes, you can link, okay, you can link to your uh, other classes that we already have in the sidebar. I'm going to put this in my archive section. Hit save. Okay. And again, I'm sorry for the pauses for the uh, internet. Um, you'll be able to watch this and, and pause it and fast forward when you need to. But there's my freshman year. So now I'm going to edit my sidebar. I'm going to edit my last navigation, which is my archives. I'm going to move the freshman year one to the top, and I'm going to indent these how I would like them. I might list them in order from fall to spring eventually, but I'll have all eight of my freshman year classes nested underneath my freshman year 
page. Okay, I hit save. Go back to my site. Okay, the last thing I'm going to have you do again is change and make pages just like you did for your block one, two. Okay, you're going to make some more pages, so click here. This could be block three. Hit create. Okay, this is how you create a page. Once you create a page, you can put it anywhere. Notice how it's taken forever. Okay, once it's created, okay, you let it load. Okay, you hit save. Page settings. You get rid of these links here. And you can nest it in whatever sidebar you want. Again, if this is my schedule, is for block three for sophomore year, you put it there. If it was one of your classes from the fall semester of your freshman year, you could put it in your archives. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Eventually it'll save. And it'll be listed up here when it's done. Okay, so I've showed you three examples of how to make separate pages. Okay, you're going to have four for your sophomore year classes listed block one, block two, block three, and block four. Then I showed you how to make an archive system by adding a new navigation button in this edit sidebar menu. I made sub page for my freshman year, which I asked you to um, fill in with highlights of your freshman year. Okay, I asked you to add write-ups about every class you've taken in your freshman year and link them okay nest them in your archives now okay move them from your schedule to your archives you'll have eight classes listed here in your freshman year archives okay then you'll create a page okay for your sophomore year You will not have anything to write in this page because you're not a sophomore yet. Once it's created, okay, you hit save. You simply do the page settings, take out these three buttons, put them in your archives, hit save, and this is set up for next school year when you need to archive your fall semester classes. So you go back to edit your, so your, your sidebar. you edit your last navigation and you'll see freshman year nested all your freshman classes you will have eight pages here sophomore year your classes eventually you will have classes there so this gets yourself set up for your sophomore year with your portfolio okay so quickly to recap okay to recap, homepage, picture, calendar. You move your old schedule from the spring 2012, that's this current semester, you move those to a tab that you create, okay, titled archives. You make sub pages for freshman year and sophomore year by clicking the new page button. You nest those pages in the archive navigation. Under the freshman year, you're going to list all your classes. You're going to move them from here to here and then you're going to add four more pages to create eight total classes in your freshman year archives. Once you have your sidebar looking like this, one through four here in this region, I know I only have three, but you'll have four, and you'll have your eight classes here, I know I only have four, but you will have eight, okay, that means that you are completely set up with your portfolio for your sophomore year of high school. The last step will be to click on my class, and make sure everything is linked properly everything is shared correctly so that I can grade your projects 9 and 10 
and any makeup work you might have off of this page. Okay, if you have time, you can start looking at your portfolio section, but for the final grade, it will be the schedule being adjusted for your sophomore year and your archive system set up with highlights for every class as a freshman and for your freshman year. Good luck, ask questions.